Hey everybody, it's Ron from Pick Dogs. This is Ron's Rundown. When you go over the MLB game schedule for Thursday, August 15th, 2024. And if you like what you see, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to put your baseball picks in the comments section below. And if you're looking for my best bets, including my daily rundown best bet in the MLB, you can find those at the premium picks tab at pickdogs.com. There's also a link in the description. Alrighty, here we go. Here are the games for Thursday in Major League Baseball. First up, an afternoon game between the Oakland Athletics and the New York Mets. We're going to see Mitch Spence and Jose Quintana as the projected starters. Here the A's facing a lefty in this one. Quintana, the expected numbers are pretty steep. We've mentioned the expected ERA is much higher than his current ERA, and we've seen him start to regress in his last couple of outings, giving up in his last two starts, eight earned runs in 11 and two-thirds, both of those losses for the Mets. You're facing an A's team that's been absolutely dominant against left-handed pitching in the last 30 days. Number three in Team OPS, number two in Isolated Power, number one in WRC+, Plus, a high walk rate. So I like this matchup for Oakland against Quintana. And then Mitch Spence on the other side, he's got 4.3 ERA on the season, a little bit steeper on the road. But his last four starts, two of those are home, two of those on the road. All those games, two earned runs or fewer. And uh, you know that includes a game against the Dodgers where he went five and two-thirds, a two-run ball with six strikeouts. I think Spence keeps the A's in this one early. I think the bats take care of the rest. Give me the Oakland Athletics in this one, plus the one and a half runs and on the money line. Next up, the Seattle Mariners taking on the Detroit Tigers. We see Bryce Miller for Seattle, no official starter for Detroit. You know, Miller's in good form right now. He's coming off a good outing against the Mets. We went six innings of shutout ball with six strikeouts. However, he's been a lot better at T-Mobile Park than on the road this season, where, you know, at T-Mobile, he's got a sub-3 ERA. On the road, a 5.37 ERA, much higher points batting average, more home runs given up. And I worry about that now in this spot. I mean, his last road start was a quality start on paper, but it was against the White Sox, and you would expect better than seven base hits, three earned runs, and a homer against the Chicago White Sox right now. I think Detroit can get to him. They've been improving a little bit in the second half of the year against right-handed pitching. I'm going to take a shot with the Tigers in the first five innings on the money line. Next up, we see the Los Angeles Dodgers taking on the Milwaukee Brewers. We're going to see Jack Flaherty and Tobias Myers as your starters. This is a great matchup here. Two great starting pitching options that are in good form. The bullpens in the, in the last 30 days are 8th and 12th in XFIP. So, you know, pretty much neck and neck. And the same thing goes for the offensive numbers. The difference is the Dodgers have been pretty solid against right handed pitching, with, despite most of those games being without Freddie Freeman and Mookie Betts. And now they're both back in the lineup. So I think this Dodgers lineup, of course, is even stronger now. And I like their chances to grab a win in this one. But it should be a close game. should be an entertaining game. But give me the Dodgers on the money line. Next up, the Atlanta Braves taking on the San Francisco Giants. Max Fried and Logan Webb are your starters. You know, we mentioned that Max Fried at the beginning of this season. He was returning from injury. He wasn't 100%, and he struggled. Now, again, Fried returns from the injury. He has his first two starts against the Marlins and the Rockies, and he gives up nine earned runs combined in the first eight and a third innings. Now, I do think Fried eventually is going to get back to great form. This could be, you know, definitely a bounce-back star form. But San Francisco's been pretty solid against left-handed pitching. I know they struggled against Chris Sale, but Sale's been sharp you know, throughout the season against most teams. So I think the Giants can get to Freed for a few runs. And I also think that you know Logan Webb, obviously the best option in this Giants rotation, pitches a lot better at Oracle Park. I think the Giants win this game. I think it goes under the total as well. So give me San Fran and the under. Next up, the Red Sox and the Orioles. We're going to see Nick Pavetta and Zach Eflin as the starters. You know, I think the Red, we've mentioned the Red Sox have been very strong against right-handed pitching in the last month, but the Orioles can compete there. They've been great against righties all season, and I think Eflin's a much better starting pitcher, and I think the Orioles have the better bullpen. Playing at home, I like the Orioles to win this game. I would think about laying the run line as well. I mean, Eflin's in great form with his new team, and Pavetta, while he's been better on the road this season, I mean, just in general recently, starting to get with the home run, home run ball again. We've seen that be an issue in his career. Two home runs plus his last three starts. Give me the Orioles in this one on the money line and run line. Next up, the Washington Nationals taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. We're going to see Mitchell Parker and Zach Wheeler as your starters. You know, the Phillies are a big favorite in this one, but I think for good reason. I mean, Zach Wheeler's been excellent at home this year. He's got good career numbers against the current Nationals hitters. Uh, while the you know, Phillies have been pretty bad against right handed pitching offensively in the last month, they've been super strong against lefties. They're top 10 in OPS and isolated power. So while P Parker's pitching well, I still think the Phillies can get to him for a few runs, enough to win and cover the run line. So give me the Phillies, land the one and a half runs. And the final game we're going to talk about for the Thursday card of Major League Baseball, it's the Minnesota Twins and the Texas Rangers. Bailey Ober and Cody Bradford are the projected starters. I think we see a low-scoring game here. The Rangers have not been great against righties in the last month 
Ober's pitching well. He's in good form. Two earned runs or fewer his last four starts. Cody Bradford's pitched excellent at home this season. He's been a lot better at home than he's been on the road. And the, the Twins have not done too much against left-handed pitching. Some of the worst numbers in baseball in the last 30 days. So give me the under in Twins Rangers. And that's it. Those are the games for Thursday in baseball. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Put those baseball picks in the comment section below. And again, if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. As always, this is Ron Ronelli. Good luck.